Welcome to County Office, your ultimate guide to local government services and public records. Let's get started. What are brokerage fees for real estate? So you're thinking about renting or buying a place, and you've heard about brokerage fees. Let's break it down. When you're looking for a new apartment or house, you might use a real estate broker to help you find the perfect place. A brokerage fee is what you pay to this broker for their services. In the real estate world, these fees can vary widely. If you're renting an apartment in a place like New York City, the brokerage fee is typically a percentage of the annual rent. It can range from 8% to 15% of the total rent for the year. For example, if your rent is $3,000 a month, you could be looking at a fee of around $5,400. For buying a home, the fees work differently. Usually, the seller pays the real estate agent or broker fees, which are often called commissions. These commissions are typically around 5 to 6% of the selling price of the home. So, if you're buying a $100,000 home, the commission would be $5,000, split between the seller's agent and the buyer's agent. In some cases, there can be additional fees, like transaction fees. These are extra charges that real estate offices might add for administrative costs, marketing, and other expenses. These fees can range from $150 to $1,200, but they're usually around $200 to $300. It's also important to know that these fees can be negotiable. If the market isn't super competitive, you might be able to negotiate a lower fee with your broker. However, if many people are after the same apartment or house, the broker might stick to their standard rate. In New York City, there's a new law called the FAIR Act that's set to change things. Starting in May 2025, the person who hires the broker will be responsible for paying the fee, rather than the renter. But until then, renters are still on the hook for these fees. So, to sum it up, Brokerage fees are what you pay for the services of a real estate broker. They can vary depending on whether you're renting or buying, and they can sometimes be negotiated. Understanding these fees can help you plan better and avoid any surprises when you're looking for your new place. To learn more, check out these links, which you can click in the description below. And feel free to comment your questions we're here to help. Want the inside scoop on your neighborhood? Imagine knowing exactly what your neighbors paid or who actually owns that stunning house down the block. At countyoffice.org, you can create a free account and snoop through over 150 million property records, owner names, mortgage details, sale prices, all those things other sites make you pay for. Don't miss out on the fun. Just Google countyoffice.org property records or head to countyoffice.org directly and create your free account today. Go on, get your snoop on.